y'all, it's the cute coffee gal here, back with another episode of my Decades Challenge. This is part five, and we have the most adorable thing happening right now. <laughs> We've got Esther playing with Rose, which is just so incredibly cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's so adorable. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. And you do see we've got our uh, plants are back here. Uh, here is our, our farm that has been growing quite a bit. It looks like some of those trees that we planted during the last part um, are finally starting to come forward. What were, I'm trying to remember, what were these? Apple trees, that's right. Um, so let's actually, we'll go ahead and have Samuel come over here and see if there's anything that we need to take care of does look like he could fertilize a few things, so I might have him do that here. It is getting a little bit uh, later in the evening, so um, let's see. Oh, that's right. We have to pick what we fertilize with, and I don't really have anything in particular that we can fertilize. All right. Well, then he's probably doing just fine there. We will... Oh, I'm sorry. That was my microphone that I just hit. Um, sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead then, and we'll just get some dinner ready, um, because I am sure that they are all ready to eat. Oh, and Esther came right on in and got some dinner herself. So there you go. Let's go ahead and serve dinner. Well, first let's check to see if there's anything in the fridge. There is. There is um, scrambled eggs with bacon. It's uh, breakfast for dinner tonight, guys. Um, <laughs> that works well. And actually we'll have, well, after he grabs one, we'll get one out for Rose as well so that she's got a little something to eat too. We do have um, Clara, you'll see she's over here in the bed, and if you'll recall from the last part, she is pregnant again, so we're excited about that. I wonder how far along is she here? Let's see. She, third trimester in nine hours, so I don't know if she'll have the baby um, in this part or not, but we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. And then how's little Robert doing? He is also hungry, but he is also sleepy, so him sleeping is probably just fine. Um, and we'll go ahead, I'll actually have Esther cook us something too while we're, um, while we've got her up, might as well. How about, I hate to keep making garden salad, but I don't think that, like, fish tacos is probably not something they would have eaten. They definitely wouldn't have had tofu tacos. How about, we'll make some grilled cheese. That, that in theory could be something that they would have. And then did she grab one? She did. Great. We'll go ahead and put that back in. And so uh, in our last part, if you will recall, we did a couple of different things. One of them is that we created um, the women's auxiliary that we've got here that um, Clara is the uh, president of. And so that is a club that we'll try to get together and have a gathering during this part. And then we also were working on getting our funds up. You see where we're at right here with our uh, just over a thousand simoleons. We wanted to get the canning equipment so that we could go ahead and start uh, canning things that we have grown in the, on the farm. So we'll definitely keep working on that this part as well. So, uh-oh, what's going on with little Robert over here? He's crying. Why are you so sad, little guy? Did he have a nightmare? Oh, he did. Poor thing. Here, we'll come over here and let's comfort him. How, how do we do that? Since we don't want a parent, maybe cheer him up or something. Here, hug lovingly. That sounds like a good thing to do. We'll have him go take care of that. Poor sweet little guy. Oh, and we can go ahead and put those in our fridge, I think. Is that going to go in? Excellent. Oh, they're so sweet together. Oh, that is just precious. Here, let's actually, let's have him... Soothe. That's what we needed to do. Perfect. And then while he's up, we might as well go ahead and grab uh, something for Robert to eat as well. So we'll have him grab a serving there. Let's see. Yeah, he's definitely hungry. And then, oh, they're so sweet together. What's going on here? We want to have them. Let's see. We'll, we'll brighten day. And then I actually, I think that, oh, what are they doing here? What is she up to? Oh, she's just picking her up and putting her down. Sure, that happens sometimes. Um, <laughs> I would actually like him to um, ask to feel the baby. So sweet. 
as they kind of like slowly wiggle their way around each other. <laughs> They're just chit chatting there, having a pleasant conversation. Let's see, we can go ahead and put that away too. What are they doing here? I don't want them to chat. I wanted him to feel the baby. Come on now. Oh, we're we're doing all kinds of animations that I didn't request. That's okay. Um, ask to feel the baby. There we go. Barnaby. Yes. Baby. Oh. That's sweet. Uh oh. What's she doing? Oh, and she is she hungry. She's very hungry. Here, come, come take care of that. There we go. And then after that, I will probably have her try to do some paintings. Did Esther go to bed? Yes, she did. It's actually it's a little early for that yet. Oh, no, I don't want to give a bath. I actually just want her to take a bath. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and do that, and we will pick up this book here. And I think I'm going to have Robert, um, let's see, he needs some fun. How about we, we'll go ahead and sell that, and then I'm going to have him come. Let's see, the furniture doesn't seem to do so well for him, so I'm going to have him do a sculpture. Let's do, let's do a horse sculpture. Sure, why not? So let's go ahead and let's speed through this a little bit here. And he's put Robert to bed. Did Robert get enough to eat? Oh yeah, he's just super tired. So that works out just fine. And Esther, if she is done, she can also um, go on to sleep too. So we'll have him come over here. Let's see if he's able to make anything happen. Uh-oh, and now Esther's sad. Why is she sad? Oh, from missing time, family. Well, that's fine. Here, you come paint and they'll be in the same room together. We'll do a sad painting. There we go. So we've just got our little crafty family over here. They're both working away at that. I'm very curious to see if this actually looks like a horse. All right. Let's see. Check in the Sims inventory. So what do we have here? Vaughn, we are, we're not going anywhere with you. Let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. And it does look like a horse. That's pretty good. Let's see. We'll go ahead and sell that 40. All right. So we're making a little more money off these things now. That's good. And then he can actually probably, oh, he's reading. That's fine. I was going to send him to bed, but if he wants to read, that's good. So I'm going to have um, Esther finish this painting. And then as it is getting past midnight, we'll go ahead and have her go on to sleep after that. And um, in the morning, I may have us uh, get that group together, the women's auxiliary. So we'll uh, check that out in the morning. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think it's Esther's time. Oh my goodness. No. Oh no. Oh, Esther. No. Where's Grim? Where is Grim? There he is. Can we plead yet? No, we're definitely going to try to plead. <laughs> um, so I actually, uh, during the night, I had Samuel real quick go run and go to the um, park to see if the plants were done um, with, so that we could harvest the lemons. And they're not ready yet. Um, but as soon as I got back, Esther's passed away. Oh, no. No. Oh, my goodness. Esther. Oh, you guys, this is like really bumming me out here. Um, plead for Esther. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh, look at the little guys. Oh, my goodness. This is so sad. Uh, oh, she's been brought back to life. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, we've got her for a little bit longer, you guys. Phew. Oh my goodness. That had me real nervous for a minute there. Oh, look at him. He's like feeling good now. Wow. Yay. Yes, Clara. We're, we're cheering. Yay. Oh, we're going to give her a hug. Let's, um, how do we do that? Friendly. Um, we want to, where's a hug? I want to ex here we go hug lovingly that's what I was looking for 
There we go. Yay. Okay, I was really worried about that, you guys. So I'm so glad that she's fine. All right. So, anyway, back to normal business. So while, um, we'll actually have her go ahead and rip on something else while we're at it here. Um, let's have her do... What kind of paintings am I allowed to do? Let's see. I'm looking at my, my rules here. Um, classic landscape, impressionism, and realism. Okay, so we're, let's have her do a realism painting. We'll do a large one. Oh, goodness, Rose, stop that. Nope, stop that right now. Parenting. We're going to ask her not to make a mess. We'll go ahead and clean it up when we can. There we go. Clean that up. All over that pretty rug, too. All right. So, oh my goodness, how did he get so darn playful? Um, I know that you can actually die from being playful, so I'm going to have him come over here and try to calm down. Because we've already had one brush with death today. We don't need to have another one. <laughs> and then Clara is... How far along is she? Oh, give birth in. Okay, she's made it to her third trimester. So, um, it looks like that will probably definitely be happening during this episode. So, um, let's go ahead. We'll have him clean, calm himself. And then I want him to come and play with these blocks. Oh, why is he crying? Oh, no, he's going to make a mess. No, 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 no. They're just making messes left and right. Oh, he got stopped before he got started. All right, that works for me. And then I actually uh, want to see what all was in um, Samuel's inventory because when I had him go check uh, the lemon tree, he also uh, harvested a couple of things that were ready. So let's see. Oh my goodness, there's a ton of stuff in here. We've got, so he did uh, go digging for some of those um, crystals because I thought that might be a good way for us to get some of our money up. And that's a pretty common one. Let's see what's in here. Extract fossil. Let's see, I don't know which one it did. Let's just do both. So who knows what's in there? And this is fish. A raptor claw. Wow. And a pre 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 sim head. <laughs> That's just so silly. All right, and then also we need to open these time capsules. So, um, let's see. That's a pretty decent price for that one. And these are, what are they? Treasure maps. Yeah, we don't need those. So go ahead and get rid of them. And then there's a little fish there. Oh, you guys, we're going to have enough money to get that canning stuff I've been wanting to get. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Right, and then what is this? Cold fish. Um, okay, chrysanthemums, we already have those in our garden. Uh, there's the raptor claw. Um, oh, wow, that's 225, not bad. We're definitely going to be able to get that uh, canning equipment. One of these days I'm going to have a sim that actually collects things, but that's not where not where we're at right now, so that's fine. Um, this is sage, I think. I think we already have sage. Let me hop over here and see. Oh, wait, no, hold on. The herbs would be over here somewhere. There's parsley, basil, grapes, blackberry, carrots. Oh, that's the sage. Okay, great. And actually, we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be harvested. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can close that. We're going to sell these things. And then while he is harvesting, let's go ahead and get that canning equipment for the kitchen. That is going to be awesome. So we do have, oh my gosh, we've got like dirty things all over the place. This is what happens when mama is about to give birth at any minute. <laughs> Oh no, and the sink is broken. Here, we'll just put this in the wash basin over here. There we go. And then, oh, Vaughn, stop it already. We'll have Esther come fix this. And then I think the canning equipment can go on this wall here. Ah, oh, there's another mess, goodness. We'll clean that one up too. All right, so 
like I said, this is custom content that I found, um, and it actually works very nicely. I've used it before, um, and basically it created um, this canning station that you see here. Um, it works like a stove, and it's found under the stoves. Which one do we want? I guess this cast iron looking one's probably the, the most authentic one for our time period, so we'll go with that. And then in addition to that, there are a few other things that come with the, um, the canning mod. So we also have, um, there are some canning books that we can get to increase their canning skill. There is a skill obviously associated with it. Um, there are a couple of different activities. You can make preserves and then you can sell them. And then we also have a couple of displays. So I wonder, we might not have enough money to get the displays. Yeah, we do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bigger one um, because when we can things, you can either put them in their inventory or you can put them on the shelf. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the shelf and then that way we'll see what all we've got. Or at least I think I'm going to put them on the shelf. Let's see, if I move the trash can, will we have enough space? Yeah, let's do that there. And then, let's see, the milk pail which I just thought was cute, but it really doesn't serve much of a function. Oh, I bet I don't have you to move objects on. Let me... Alright. Now we should be able to move that. Yeah, we'll see if that works or if it uh, goofs up our ability to, um, to be able to put things on the shelf. So there we go, but that's the canning uh, the canning stove. So we can actually, once we go back into live mode here, let me get him to harvest some things and then we'll actually have him, look, so we've got strawberries, that's a great example. After he's done harvesting, um, or even we can actually just move these strawberries over into the fridge and then we'll have Clara do it. Um, where did they go? Let's see, move those there. And then we'll have Clara. Let's see. I think I have to do it on here. Make jam. Oh, we have to start with apple. That's right. You unlock different fruits um, and vegetables and things based on your skill level. So apples are the first skill. Um, and then let's see what the others are. For spreads, there's nothing available yet. And for pickles, there's nothing. So really, apples is the only thing we're going to be able to do first. But that's okay. Um, I wonder if the apple tree, oh, he's back here. He must have finished harvesting. Oh, look at them. They're doing flashcards. How cute. Oh, that's precious. Oh. So cute. All right. So let me see if we actually, because we probably need to call the farmhands over too. Let's see if we actually harvested all of the things that needed harvesting. I do see a few things that could use evolving, um, but it does look like the harvesting is done. So why don't we go ahead, we'll call over the farm hands then. And then, um, is he doing all right? Because if so, I'm gonna have him come and evolve some things. So yes, he is. So let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, and so the farm pans have now watered things. We've gotten uh, all the stuff that needed to be evolved has been evolved. Um, it looks like this is probably about done here. Are they are they doing anything else around the house? Are they fixing anything? Because um, if so, they can stick around, but otherwise I'm going to dismiss them. Um, yeah, it looks like everybody's just kind of wandering around, so we'll just go ahead and we'll end that gathering. Thanks for the... The hard day's worth of work, guys. We appreciate it. And then he is doing pretty well. How are the kiddos doing here? I've heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wonder if that's left over from when Esther passed and then came back. Um, so I don't know if anybody else has passed away. Um, oh, goodness. What on earth are you doing, Clara? What is she doing? That is so ridiculous. Um, how about instead you scavenge for parts and then we'll get rid of this um, <laughs> because it's just kind of nasty sitting here in the middle of the living room. Um, 
let's see I wonder if we have any apples ready yet I'm gonna check on that tree real quick because I really would like to show you guys how the canning works now it doesn't look like anything's ready that's okay we might have to do the demo next time let's go ahead and throw that away and then let's see where is everybody we've got Esther who oh my goodness she's very embarrassed why is she very oh she peed herself well that explains why she's in the bathtub um ew. let's have her after she's finished with that um let's have her grab something to eat too so we'll have that oh look she's got a plumbing part and we've got a book maybe oh yes from our reading to the kiddos and then after she's finished eating we'll have her come sleep and then how is this little one doing she's fine why is she not better than fine she needs a little something to eat as well nope not a drink I wanted you to come grab some food let's see come right over here and you can eat with your grandmother there you go oh she also is she smelly she looks a little smelly or perhaps she is just doing smelly things <laughs> uh, I want to put that in there and then how is our mom doing oh her bladder's going I bet that means she's gonna go into labor because that always happens right before they go into labor and dad's gonna come in and sit with them too here we'll just all grab something to eat let's see grab serving there oh the diaper is dirty that's what that was about and then we'll have her come and what did I say I was gonna have her do take a bath that's right I'll have her take a bath real quick that way that'll be nice and relaxing and all these little sweet peas oh she's still embarrassed poor thing let's see is there something he can do to cheer her up he can complain about his problems how about well, he's got lots of complaints on his mind doesn't he Discuss embarrassing mood. Oh, that might embarrass her more. All right, we'll just kind of leave her be. She was tired anyway. We'll let her sleep. So there we go. The two of them are chit-chatting. That works out just fine. And is Robert still snoozing away over here? Let's see. Oh, but he's pretty hungry too. All right, so when he wakes up, we'll make sure that he grabs something to eat too. Um, Let's actually, we'll wait until he gets out of there, the bed before we grab him a plate so then um, I think I'm gonna go ahead get everybody on to bed and then in the morning I'm gonna call together a meeting for the women's auxiliary so um, we'll get to see how that works oh my goodness everybody just woke up and it's Esther's time again like it's literally the same day it's just in the middle of the night oh you guys I bet this is gonna be it. I seriously doubt Grim will um, will be sympathetic again. Oh my gosh! All right, where is he? There he is. Probably can't. Yeah, we can't plead yet. Oh man! All right, we'll go ahead and wake him up, and I guess we'll bring him in here so that he's here whenever Grim comes. Oh wow! <laughs> Why are you, like, happy? He's happy to witness death. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Can we plead? No. Nope. I seriously doubt this is going to work this time. Oh, and I wanted her to be able to meet the new grandbaby. Oh. Wow. I just really got attached to Esther. I didn't realize it until this happened. Um, it's not. There we go. All right. Let's try it. I love his little iPad that just kind of cracks me up. I'm so nervous. And, oh my goodness, she got brought back to life again. I have never had that happen before. I have never had a sim come back twice, you guys. Wow. Wow. Oh wait, but it hasn't happened yet. Is it going to happen? Usually they get kind of confident. That was what that message said, right? Yes, it says that she's coming back. Okay. Come on. Do your little magical floaty thing, Grim. He's like still chilling on his iPad. 
Come on, pins and needles, you guys. What? Okay, let's maybe fast forward a little bit. Here we go, okay. Alright, so he's happy now. Yes! Yes! Oh, I know he's gonna pee his pants. Oh! Esther! Man, cheating death twice! <laughs> You crazy lady! Alright, what do you need? You're actually doing quite fine. Well, why don't you go to sleep? Because it is the middle of the night. We'll have Samuel, who has just, like, become BFFs with death, apparently. We'll have him come use the outhouse, and then we'll have him go on to bed. Actually, let's have him repair that sink and then go to bed. Um, wow! That was that was intense! Okay, so let's try this again, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, it looks like we have gone into labor now, so that is exciting. And one of the things that I am noticing, so we had uh, Rose got up in the middle of the night with a nightmare, and when she did, she got witness death. And then whenever Clara woke up, she also got the moodlet for witnessing death. Um, and they both walked here into, um, into Esther's room when that happened. So I don't know, those moodlets might stick around. I'm not... I'm not quite sure what's going on there, um, but obviously Esther's still right here, so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but um, I think I'm going to have her eat something before we have the baby, so um, we're just going to, you know, say that labor's taking a little longer with this one, um, and actually I'm going to, since we can't do anything with those strawberries yet, I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Um, I bet Samuel's actually probably got all those things he harvested yesterday, yeah still in here so we'll go ahead and sell those two and then let's go ahead and let's kind of speed up a little bit here so she can finish that bath and eat her food before we have a baby y'all it's like the episode of life and death apparently <laughs> but see how she's still got this um morning she's still got the moonlit for for witnessing death um even though she was asleep for the whole thing and Esther's alive. So, um, yeah, kind of odd, but that's okay. I know you're uncomfortable, sweet pea. We're going to have you give birth as soon as you are done with your, uh, with your breakfast there. And, uh, so he doesn't have it though. Is he hungry? Yeah, we'll have him. We'll go ahead and set this out here for the, for the tykes. Is she hungry too? No, she's just sleepy because she kept waking up with a nightmare. We'll have her go take a nap. All right. And how's Esther doing? She's going to grab a plate. Great. She can eat with Robert. That will work just fine. And let's see. We're not going to feed that one because she could feed herself if she really wanted it. And then, is Clara about done? Like sitting here, look at her. She's nervously moving her fingers around. Because she hurts so bad. Oh, and her lip is quivering. Oh, the poor thing. All right, let's get on through that meal so we can have that baby. All right. It's time. Let's see, we'll have her come in here. I wonder if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, she was choosing for herself to have the baby. Well, there you go. All right, you guys. It's time. Boy or girl? Boy or girl? I just don't know. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Where is your husband? He's eating breakfast. He should come in here. <gasps> it's a boy. It's a boy. All right. All right. What are we going to name him? Let's see. We've got Samuel and we've got Robert. And I think James was the grandfather's name, if I remember correctly. I'm looking at my list of names. Um, What about William? I think that's a, a pretty good classic name. We'll do that one. William Johnson. Oh, so sweet. Oh, that was a little too close, guys. Oh, yes. 
Oh, I kind of I want to pick you back up. We're gonna cuddle you. Robbie. What are you Robbie. trying to do here? Oh, I've grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Yes, you should go use the potty. Oh, yes. See, this right here, this is what I was hoping for. I'm so glad that she made it <laughs> all the way. Ah, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Here, let's get a screenshot of that right there. Yes, sweet little William. Oh. Yay, I'm so glad that Esther was able to see this happen. Oh, that's so precious. All right. Well, you guys, we haven't uh, gotten to the point where we've called that meeting. It was a little bit eventful with, you know, Esther dying twice and all that. So um, we'll just have to next episode get to that women's auxiliary meeting. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed our our little family and the um, the, the, the drama with death that we had. Um, <laughs> I think in the next part, uh, we'll be able to finally start to use that canning equipment. So that should be kind of exciting. Um, and then I wonder, let's see, how much longer do we have before the toddlers? See, they are all witnessing death. This is just so strange to me. Um, whatever. Okay. So let's look real quick and see how much longer they've got. They've got three more days. So we've got a little bit more time before they're going to age up into children. Um, but that will be our kind of next big milestone, I believe. And, um, yeah, so some exciting stuff going on. Oh, look at him. He's having his pre-parental panic over here. Uh, even though the baby is like right there. Why don't you go ahead and give him a snuggle for us here? That way you can uh, get to know your son a little bit. We'll go ahead and, and, and love on him a little bit. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you've got things that you'd like for me to do with this family, please let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear what you think of this let's play if you're enjoying it if you have other things you'd like to see me doing on my channel but otherwise that's going to be it for today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later thanks so much y'all